Yeah, so we're going to take a little break from tramming and we're going to head down the number one, up the number one shaft and see what's going on with the number two shaft. And uh, so this is how many loads we got so far, so quite a few. So we're over, uh, right now this is we started in 1st of January, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and I don't know, 43, 4 loads since the 1st of January. So we got a total of over... 1300 loads we've taken out of there, so I'm kind of wondering why we're not out of uh, muck yet. <laughs> so we're going to go up there and uh, check out that big stope above the number two shaft and see what's all going on there. So. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Welcome everyone, we've got a really exciting show for you this week. So we finally, after months of uh, tramming and shoveling in the number two shaft, we were able to get past it and get to the back of the mine. So uh, in the main hall level, there was a, the number two shaft was blocked and we weren't able to get to the back part of the mine. We're only about halfway through it. So after, like I say, months and months of shoveling, we finally got past the number two shaft. So it's really exciting. Then the other real cool thing about that is you guys are looking at this and we're going to open this up for tours and you're thinking, well, this would be too crazy for me. But we think there's probably going to be about three different type of tours that are possible. Um, most people will just go in the main hall level, walk in the flat level part of the mine and uh, go to all the different branches. And, uh, and we know there's four shafts now, at least all together. Um, but some other uh, other possible things we can do is um, is go up, uh, make put some ladders and stairs up, get to the top stopes, show people the top of the mine without having to do any rope work. And the third possible thing we could do, possibly for some people that are interested, is rope in from the very top of the mine, about uh, 300 feet above this uh, level here, and uh, rope all the way through the mine and uh, do some pretty advanced uh, rope kind of stuff. So quite a few different options that we have that we could do. And like I say, we're just really excited to show you uh, this part of the mine there uh, as we go further back into the Yankee Boy. And uh, we're just continually amazed. You know, we never thought this mine was going to be that big. Some really cool graffiti back in this back section here. We see it all over the place. So, uh, yeah, really cool show. So hang on your hats, boys. We'll show you what we found. So we're back to the number one shaft here. So this sign's really cool. It was an original sign that was found in a mine a long time ago. And one of the subscribers actually had one of these made up. So it's a brand new sign, but in the same style as the old ones from Phoenix. So I never, I don't know what his name is. I, I didn't even meet him. Sharon got it from him. So, you know, and thanks again. We, we got such awesome fans. Got to be a little confusing for you guys figuring out all these stopes and shafts and all this kind of stuff. And sometimes we have trouble keeping them straight. So... One of these days we'll go through the whole mine and explain everything in an orderly fashion when it's all cleaned out, so. Still working on cleaning the muck out of this. Uh, you see that board up there, that's where the number two level is and we're heading up to the number three level. Doesn't look too far from here, but when you're up there looking down, it looks like a long ways down. Now we both have these double-handed descenders. The reason is so we can stick two ropes on them. The reason we have two-handed descenders is because we leave these ropes in the shaft all the time and there's always the danger that say a rat or something can maybe chew a line or something. You can't totally trust something you didn't just tie up. So that's why we have two. And this is why we use static rope. It doesn't bounce that much. A bit of a bounce you notice, but if you use dynamic rope it would be like climbing up a river band. It's terrible. And also the reason why we never tie more than one together, so if you're in longer uh, lays, you, you hook them up separate because it gets worse and worse the longer the rope is, the more bounce you got. So another reason we're really anxious to get past this uh, number two blockage is because we want to be able to test the drinking water. I um, want to see what the drinking water is like. We want to use it for a potential water source. So, it costs about 700 bucks. They do a full test room, um, 
test on it, they see what kind of maybe arsenic or what kind of minerals or, uh, or whatever toxic substances might be in the water. That She's up at the number two shot. <laughs> there you go, that's a hazard of looking up when someone's climbing down. There you go, she just wrote up the number two. Had it there. No, that's not an orb. I don't believe in ghost god or the Easter Bunny. I told Kevin, I don't believe in ghost god or the Easter Bunny. He says, what? He says, you don't believe in the Easter Bunny? There was an uneventful trip up to the number, top of the number one shaft. And uh, now we got to see a few things. Last week when we had that big collapse, where I was stuck in that stope way up top there, we had to put a lot of material down um, to these lower levels. So we're hoping that it hasn't plugged this passageway off. Is it plugged off? No, it's not. So that's good. We were kind of thinking it wasn't, but there was a chance that all that material would have plugged this off. We would have had to shovel it all out. But we didn't think it would come down this far, and uh, luckily we are right. During the cold weather, we tried to put the barrel in here to restrict the amount of air that flows through the mine, because the air, the cold air, really drops the temperature down, makes it more uncomfortable, and then actually more likely to get frost coming into the mine. Too. So that little stall there used to be 12 or 14 feet above our head. Now it's getting buried with muck. Yeah, what a difference was from the first time we were here. The first time we were here, we were on this, in the twin pillars here. It looks like some of this has collapsed a bit because I don't remember that. I don't remember that uh, dynamite box being all kind of smashed. I think a little bit of that loose stuff fell off there. But the very first time we were up here, we had to be very careful going on this ledge. You had to be on ropes because it was about 30 feet down. Now it's all filled in. But it's good stuff we're never going to have to shovel. With that, Kenny. You never know. You never say never, I guess. Things change. That's where I was working. It's higher than it was. But not any, didn't, no more came down. But I'm thinking it's got to be plugged now, which is good. Same thing here, it was like. Um, Franklin. Oh, gold ball's gone. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Is this rope attached to anything? Yeah, to the pillar. For sure. No, that's plugged, that slide's basically plugged. Yeah, so nothing more will come down. down yeah. More slid down. Although not necessarily a lot. Yeah, let me have a look down here. Have a peek. Well, that's a lot steeper than it was. Yep. What's it is steeper. Some came down, not a lot. Because I could almost crawl underneath that rock before. It's not a pillar, it's a rock. <laughs> now you can definitely crawl under. So some did come down. And we'll show you where all this stuff's going. I should take it. doesn't hurt for some of this to slide down. So yeah, this is where the stuff I'm shoveling is coming from. So Sharon's going to come down. So it has continued to slough down here. I wasn't expecting that. That stuff's kind of caving off there a little bit, but you know, as long as you're on the rope, it's not like you can't come sliding down or nothing. Just we got a fair bit more shoveling to do. Oh, this is going to come down the shaft. Okay, we're standing there, sharing up there. We're standing on this rock. The steepest part is where you're at, and then, and then it's just like a slide coming down. Not bad at all. It's just like kind of a slide. It's that magic angle. If it's any steeper than that, it goes down. If it's flatter, it stays. That is a big rock. Mm -hmm. Ugh. That is scary. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
Yikes. Oh, oh, that was horrible. Ah. Yeah, I can see that the, the rock is going down here, so it is continuing to slough down there. Hmm. All right, so here's this big rock. We made it underneath the big rock. And uh, this is a, this seems to be the top of the shaft going down. Kind of look down there a little bit. Yeah, so this is the, the rock. This is the number two shaft. So we got a fair bit more to shovel yet. It's going to keep coming down. We're going to go down this way. It goes down to a slide that looks like it continues on to that shaft. So it's kind of close. We're going to have down there. There's a couple big rocks here. Monster big boulders. Got a platform under here. Yeah, that's a big rock. It doesn't loose at all. It's jamless. Yep. And then it's just flat right here, so. You can see this is a big solid platform, not rotten at all. No, it's weird in this mine, like some stuff is just totally rotten and other stuff is looks like it was in the same shape it was in hundred years ago. Amazing. Hmm. Probably nothing is what you expected. I know when you try to explain things, it's hard to visualize them. Uh, it's only like about four feet down from where you are. Oh, you can get your feet down. Yeah, you're good. Where's that gonna go? I don't know. Because the shop goes 20 feet that straight down. So then you think it meets onto the number two shaft? Mm-hmm. Hey, look. See? Maybe that's a level over there. Yeah. How'd you get to it, though? <laughs> We're going to oh. rope down there. What? Isn't that cool? Oh. We'd have to build ladders to get up there. Well, I promise there'll be no collapses today. <laughs> yeah, right. Platform looks pretty cool. It looks like it was just built there. Yeah. So this other level is we got to get to somehow. Hmm. To build a ladder, I guess, one day. We're gonna rope down there. And it looks like it's pretty flat there. Maybe it's a level or what it is. I don't know. We thought all the stuff that we were working on in the number two shaft was coming down there, but it's not. It's just sitting there. Wow. We've made it past. The collapse, at the, that's the collapse right there that we're trying to shovel past. Now we're on the other side of it. <laughs> There's the water, so we can explore the back of the mine. This is really exciting. There was another ore chute here. Here comes Sharon. Wow, we were never expecting this. This is our, our uh, main hall level. We're just on the other side of this collapse. Is where we've been shoveling and shoveling and shoveling to get past. <laughs> wow! This is where we've been working so hard to get past. We take like a 900 loads to get past here, and now we've been able to drop down behind it. And we get to go to the back of the mine. Yeah! I am waiting for you. It's only 50 feet from here to the collapse, so I'm right there. Sharon's coming down to join us. Yeah, so this, you can see water coming along here too, so we can find out where the water's coming from. There you go. Okay, so that is the collapse? That's the collapse. Oh. We're working on the other side of it. Cool, eh? That's crazy. Okay, let's get off the rope and explore. Explore, explore, explore. Just wait a minute. Did you think we were going to... I never dreamed my wildest dreams that this would happen. Me neither. It's not where I thought. I thought we were... I thought we were too high for yeah. this. 
I didn't think we were anywhere clear. It's close to this far, close down. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quit talking. Let's go. Whatever. Oh, it turns. Okay. I'm down. Look, it's not very flooded either. Yeah, this is going to find out where our drinking water comes from, too. From, oh, there's some interesting looking mineralization here. A little vein, they're following a vein here. Wow. You can find really cool. Oh, wow, look at all the our, our air line or water line there. Hmm. It's small, eh? Yeah, I don't know. It's funny they wouldn't have pulled that out, eh? Oh, look at this little Stall, don't? Yeah. That's a don't touch it stall. Yeah. M1427. Is there a branch there? Oh, uh, just a little hole. Little vein there we're working. Oh, muck sheets. Look at this. A muck sheet. Two of them. Wow. Oh. Oh, there's a little cam shell. Ooh, that's kind of a nice one. What does it say? Shell, shell X100 100 motor oil. oil. Hey, come on in front. Oh, <laughs> look at all that wood that was, was on another muck sheet. Wow. Hmm. Oh, what was this? I'm thinking we're about 900 feet in now. It's like that little sheet. Yeah. Oh, a ladder. Nice. Looks like it's a little flaky here. A vein here partially collapsed. I don't know how far that goes up. Not very far. Just a little ways, a little pocket there they mind. Mm -hmm. Pretty narrow vein. Uh oh, running out of mine? What the heck? That doesn't sound good. Oh no. We're out of mine. No. Another horse shoot. Look at that marble loop. Oh, there's a cup. Can we get past it? No. No? Well, shovel, 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 sure. Sure we could. Well, we got rail coming to here? No, no they pulled the rail up. Oh, what? There's no rail here. No, did it quick. This might be the end of the mine. No. Yes. I believe so. That's a collapse. We didn't walk that far yet. No, I don't believe it. Oh, look at the quartz here. It goes further hmm. than this. Maybe. Oh, well, that's broken rock from a higher level. Coming down. Hmm. Well. Do we get an answer as to where our water's actually coming from? Nope. Nope. Over that way. Still coming from back there somewhere. Yep. Well, it looks like we've got years of digging, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm so. We're gonna muck that out. We're gonna have to uh, put track back in here to get back in. Alright. Oh, wow. Look at they were drilling in here. Hey, quit going in front. <laughs> oh, look at all that wood that was, was an, oh, another muck sheet. Wow. Oh, what was this? I think we're about 900 feet in now. Is this like an old chute? Yeah. Oh, a ladder. Nice. 
looks a little flaky here. I think the air brush is collapsed. How far that goes up? How far? It's a little bit of a little pocket area. Mm -hmm. A bit of water there. Well, we think this is the bottom level. We could be wrong about that. <laughs> we could be wrong. Well, it's pretty exciting we got back here, anyways. Sharon, this track is bigger than the track on the other side of the collapse. Well, we're going to make some measurements and figure out about how far we're back here from the collapse. So it's about 105 paces from the back of the mine to here, so I'm thinking that's about 300 feet, so that should give us around 900 feet. There should be another more 300 feet of mine past there. <laughs> so, um, the other interesting thing is, this is the small track that we have on the other side of the collapse, so I'm pretty sure we're on the collapse here. It's kind of odd that it goes to a larger track um, further up. We've still got quite a few more interesting um, discoveries to make. When we get past here, we can put a ladder up there and get up to that other level. Figure out where that goes. It may. Who knows, there might be another chute that's further up on the other side somewhere. Yeah, we have no idea where that would be. That'd be cool. Let's get a ladder to go up there. We could make a ladder right from the bottom when we get this all mucked out. We've got to save some exploring for later. We're thinking we'll probably get this all mucked out and then we'll build a ladder to get to that top level and see where that is. Oh, there's some writing here. Beware of falling rock. <laughs> Damn. Dang. Oh, I thought it was dangerous. It does. Oh. Dangerous. Dangerous, my dear. I don't know what he says about it. So it goes straight, I'd say, for about 100 feet from the collapse, at least 100 feet, just perfectly straight, past all that writing. Then there's a gentle bend to the right where we have all this pipe. And then a gentle bend to the left. And then we got these two cubby holes. There's a cubby hole to the right, a cubby hole to the left, and these are places where cars were stored, see, because the track went straight here at one time. So they could spot a car there. So you most likely had a locomotive here, because it could spot cars here where they're mucking. Well, I don't know, that's gonna make a pretty interesting tour, I think. There's some more graffiti, graffiti it says. Looks like for sale. No. <laughs> the flow stones kind of covered it up. For hole, something. Maybe. There's a hole there. Doesn't go in very far. Lots of graffiti. Sharon's trying to get it. I haven't decided what it said yet. Looks like 1947. Jocko. Jocko. I don't know. I don't think say. anyone was in here. You have to have good imagination, like you say. Yeah, you do. I'm thinking we should leave soon. Mm. Let's try going up this way. That rock kind of looks like a part of the Coyote and Roadrunner series, eh? <laughs> <laughs> <Don't say that. laughs> looks like Will Wiley E. Coyote put it up there. To catch the Roadrunner. There goes the Roadrunner! <laughs> well, I'll be the Roadrunner because he always stays alive. <laughs> he always stays alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, Coyote gets 
Yes. The kind of really ends up being pancake squished, material. Usually. Lots of calcite on this shaft. Yeah. It's kind of cool looking. Uh. Okay, now we got it. Whoa! Well, I wouldn't touch that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's holding that big rock. Now I'm going to be the coyote. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers off. No touchy. <laughs> I feel like we need to buy another rope because I hate that chain ladder. If you ever feel like getting me a present, I would really appreciate a new, a new uh, route. A new something instead of that thing. Well, you're not even on the rope? No. Crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll get out of your way. Oh, I got the heavy pack, that's the reason. Yeah, okay. Well, yours is just about as heavy with all the snacks and everything. <laughs> That's called life, um, just uh, necessities. That is, there's, did you look when you're coming up over those rocks? They're, they don't look any nicer. So what we're gonna have to do is to shovel, all this has gotta go down that shaft. It's probably about 50 feet down to the main hall level from here. And then it's going to drag down a bunch of this other loose stuff. Um, the other thing that could happen, if we're lucky, is this just gets plugged up. And then we could just build something solid so we can get under it. Whichever, whichever way, one way or the other, we'll get her. And I'll make a good tour for the mine because then we'll be able to go uh, right to the back of the mine. And then we're going to build ladders and stuff up there. The stairs, we can just go up here and show you guys these top stops. So it wouldn't be that hard um, if we have stairs and ladders and stuff going up here. Ah, I don't like this. Mm. All right, you're just safe and sound, coyote. <laughs> Thank you, Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an interesting adventure. It was. Never expected we get that. This looks like a bum slide. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Whoa, that was quick. Oh. Fastest I've ever come down there. <laughs> You're gonna go right in the barrel. Okay. <laughs> you made a trout party. Sneaky little bugger, you. Yeah. Another We're one of about, uh, 950 or something. Franklin's oh, crazy adventures ending in the dark. Hmm. Wonder who's making supper. Franklin. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> oh Here you're pizza. you're buying pizza? Sweet. Another adventure. Marked on the board.
everyone. Thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.